Hey y'all, thank you so much for stopping in today. My name's Julie and this is the Retro Apron Cooking Channel. If this is your first time here, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button if you're interested in easy, delicious recipes on a weekly basis. Today we are fixing naughty cookie bars. Yeah, just with a name like that, you know it's gonna be good. So let's not waste any more time, let's do it. In my pan, I have a cup of butter that I have just melted. I do not have a microwave. I believe I've mentioned that before if you've watched any of my previous videos. So I melted it on the stove. Like I said, that's one cup of butter. And then we're going to add two cups of brown sugar and I just splashed butter everywhere. That was brilliant. All right, we are gonna combine this. Gonna cut the oven on to 350. Now that our sugar and butter is perfectly smooth, we're gonna add in two eggs and vanilla. Now we're gonna set this mixture aside and in a separate bowl, we are going to add two cups of all-purpose flour, a little bit of salt, some baking powder, and some nutmeg. We're gonna take a fork and make sure all of those ingredients are combined. And then we're gonna bring our butter and brown sugar batter back over here. And we're gonna add this flour mixture to that. Mix that together. Now we're gonna add some chopped pecans and some chocolate chips. These are optional, but to me, it's not an option. We gotta have them. And then we're just gonna stir them in with a spatula instead of the mixture. The batter is going to be really thick and we are going to spray our 9 by 13 pan. That was so easy, oh my goodness. Pour that batter in there. Now we're going to put this in the oven for about a half hour and while it's baking we are going to fix a cream cheese icing for on top. In the comments below, let me know what your favorite kind of cookie is. And also remember, head on over to my Instagram page for the exact measurements and exact ingredients, and then they're also listed below. Okay, we have eight ounces of softened cream cheese. I'm gonna add just a bit of vanilla and a cup of confectioner sugar. Mix that all together. That's it. Now we're just waiting for our cookies to finish and we're done. I feel like in this shirt, I look like I'm ready to go chop wood. All right, time to check it. I am pretty sure by the way it smells, it is about finished. We want it to be done around the edges and just a little bit gooey in the center. So yes, that is perfect. Now we're gonna take it out of the oven, let it cool for 30 minutes, and then we'll put the icing on top and then we get to try it. This has cooled enough to put the icing on it now and my mouth is starting to water. I cannot wait to try these. And that's all she wrote. Let's try it. Kind of reminds you of a chocolate chip cookie. Probably because it has chocolate chips in it. This cookie bar is absolutely delicious and y'all saw how easy it was to fix. So. No excuses. Make sure you give it a try. Thank you so much for stopping in today. Can't wait to see you next time.